first, but I'm going to ask you lots of questions, but let's uh, oh, start. Let's get what cooking. Are we, what Can are we making? Can you cut these into pie Why pieces? do I have to do all no, the No, no, no. This I is good. Even... It's, it's, they should look like this. We're making homemade tortilla chips. It's a great recipe to do with your kids. You can use tongs. You can so use fingers. So just like four times? Yes. All right. Or twice? Oh, well, six times, actually. Can you do it six times? I have done it before. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that yeah. about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what? Well, keep Look, going. You're not, you have your own. Why do you need these? Well, you're going to fry these in about an inch of canola oil. I'm going to turn up the flame a little okay. bit. And basically, these should take about a minute and a half or two minutes. And what, what are you doing them in? In canola oil. Uh-huh. And, and then once you do that... <laughs> And once you was do that, that when they're done, they look like this. What? I asked if that was dirty. I don't know what happened. I just this said, oil, no, it's not dirty. No. It's clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I, okay. We just keep missing each other. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me focus. All right. Good. OK. So, <laughs> all right. So anyway, right. These, that's going to keep continuing. And they this. look like that. Let them cool off to the touch. Put some chips in a little bag like uh -huh. that. And then do you want to make sweet ones or salty ones, tortilla chips? Uh, uh, let's make salty. OK, so you want to add a pinch of salt, uh -huh. pinch of rosemary. Uh -huh. You can add black pepper. Mm -hmm. And you just roll it up right. and shake it up. Right. There you go. Now I'm going to make some sweet ones for you. Is that loud? That's, is that too loud for everybody? I'm going to make sweet ones. All right. Watch your other chips, by they're, the way. They're yours. Oh, they're mine. Thank you. Um, all right. Just turn them over. They're, yeah, you're doing a good job. Um, thank Who you. does the cooking in your house? Uh, a chef. <laughs> Want to taste, ta yeah. taste a sweet yeah. chip? Uh-huh, I do. Here, I'll handle that. All you, right. You taste that. All right. Tell me what did you, how did you, how did you make the sweet ones? I put cinnamon and sugar. And you mm. can add more. You don't have to add a lot. And it's a good, fun thing to do with your kids. Mm-hmm. I don't have any. <laughs> I'm sure your dog would love tortilla chips. All right. <laughs> yeah. So you shot um, Top Chef in Boston, right? I did. How That's, was that? It, it, it was love Boston. Great. I love Boston. I went to college in Massachusetts. We're going to do another recipe. Mm -hmm. This one's with about two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Halloween's coming, so we're going to do sautéed pumpkin with some edamame. And this is great if you have vegetarians in your family, like most of my family. And uh, let me ask you this question. I just uh, today heard the, the phrase super taster. Yes. What does that mean? Yes, thank you for asking. I am a super taster, you guys. Good for you. So What's I'm actually qualified. You know what that means? I just found this out. I found have it you, out. Do you know what a super taster is? Does anyone know? No. What does that mean? A super taster has other extra taste buds and can taste flavors that normal people can't. Like, you know, dogs who can hear whistles that humans can't? You can taste things that we can't? Well, that non-super taster can't. Don't let those tortillas. How many? Coming. We don't need. We don't need them. Okay. Um, fine. We'll turn off wait. the stove. But wait. Um, okay. You don't um, mind me bossing you around? No, I don't mind it at all. Okay. Um, I still wait. want to burn How down How do you your... find out if you're a super taster? There's a simple tab test. We went to this museum of science. Here, taste that. <laughs> and, <laughs> anyway, you can hear this stuff pop. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Those are the mustard seeds popping, mm -hmm. and that's when you know. Can you hear that? When when you hear it yeah, pop. Yeah. I'm trying to put it near my mic. Anyway, you put when you hear the, the seeds the popping. mustard seeds pop. You know it's time to add your onion, garlic, and ginger. And this is a basic, that, almost like a sofrito, an Asian sofrito that you would use. There's nothing better than the smell of onions cooking, right? I know. That just makes everything smell good. It smells the whole house. You could up. just, and you can make, add any vegetables to this. And because we're all going to be carving. Pumpkins, I thought that we would do it with pumpkin. You just want to boil that pumpkin in some sal um, salted water for about 20 minutes, and you have it ready to I use. I want to talk about the super taster. So how do you... Right, okay, so, like, so basically they have these little tabs, these right. little paper tabs, and they all have different flavors or tastes on them. They don't tell you what they are, and they just ask you to taste different ones that say A, B, C, D, and then you basically just, you know, tell them what you're tasting. And if you can taste this one taste on this other tab, most people can't taste it. It tastes bitter. That's what I tasted, like really bitter, like super burned what coffee. What was it? I don't know. She said it was chicory. And she said, but most normal people can't taste that particular bitterness. 
Wow. So I'm just more sensitive in taste, but which makes sense because it's not like I'm a great technician, but, but you know, but, <laughs> clearly. No, but wouldn't you think that most chefs would be super tasters? Not necessarily. People no. are yelling at us to go that way. Okay, sorry. Should I I'll turn, turn this off? Turn this down and stir this in. Can you stir this in? I bet I want to be with you over there. Okay, stir this over there. Okay. All right, come here. Come here. Come over here. You can scoop these out. I'm going to pour some of this into here. You can serve these in these individual pumpkin bowls. Are you ripping that out? Good, well, good, good, keep is going. That what, is that what I'm Don't supposed to do? Don't get too messy, you are. Is that I'm what I'm supposed to do? Will you taste this? I guess. It's not too is spicy. That, I didn't make it too spicy, I promise. Taste. I taste something bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Really yeah. <laughs> That's how you serve then it. Then you don't you have to do to. dishes at the end of the night. You That's just... right. That's right. Why don't right. we use these as bowls all the time? <laughs> just carve out pumpkins and just throw them yeah. away. Actually, all these bowls and stuff are from our new thing called Easy Exotic. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. You smell good. You make things. You're talented. You're a super taster. Thank you. I am. I'm a super taster. Yeah. You're super terrific. <laughs> Season 12 of Top Chef premieres Wednesday, October 15th at 10 on Bravo. We'll be right back. Padma, thank you so much. <laughs>